everybody, my name is Lina and I'm here with Aptek STEM Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning how to use the clone blocks. So let me give you a little preview of what we're going to be building. As you can see here, this video on what we're actually going to be building. Stick around if you guys want to learn how to do that. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to import my own sprite since in this example I will be using a arrow so a bow and arrow and an arrow to show you the cloning. Get rid of my of the cat here. Go here and I want to upload from my computer a specific image that I have. Okay. So I'm gonna go with this image here. Yeah, I have no, it has no background, so that's why it looks black. And just ignore the rest of the images. Those are gonna be for a final series uh, game that we're going to build together later. Okay, so there is our arrow and bow. Then I want to create an arrow. So the thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to duplicate it before I actually do the code for it and I'm gonna go inside and in customs I don't want to this arrow here so in order to delete it I'm just gonna click on this button here to delete what I don't want from this picture so it's gonna take me a little bit to just get rid of it I want to get rid of the bow. Now that I have both images, I'm going to convert them to vectors to be able to easily move them around and resize them. They're a little too big, so I want them slightly smaller. Let's go to the bow. Let's put them on top of each other. And let's convert this one to a vector too. And let's make sure that it's centered. Let's first go to our bow and arrow here. And let's start it with the code. So I want my bow to follow the mouse pointer when I when I move my mouse. So we're gonna use a flag. So whenever the flag is click forever, I want my sprite, which is our bow, to follow the mouse pointer. Let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it follows the mouse, but it's following it from the back. So what we want to do is we want to go into the sprite, into the customs, and we want to flip this. So we're going to flip it on, uh, horizontally to make it follow the mouse on the front like this. Now let's start the code for the arrow. So what we want to do is the arrow, every time I click on the space bar, so let's go ahead and find that event. When I click on space, I want it to clone itself and clone is under here I wanted to clone itself so it's gonna say clone of myself it's gonna do a clone of itself so what do I want it to do when it does a clone of itself so we're gonna pull this block here that says when I start a clone what do I do so what I wanted to do is to go to the bow. I wanted to go to the bow and arrow. Right here. Which is this guy right here. To this sprite. And I wanted to point towards mouse pointer. Then what I wanted to do is to do move, I wanted to move until it touches the edge here. So let's go ahead and do a repeat until loop. Yeah. And we're going to be sensing on 
when it touches the edge. So when it touches the edge, I want it to keep moving. So I want to move it by five. And let's see what that does. So as you can see, our balls are being shot in the right direction, but our sprite here is pointed in the wrong direction. So what we want to do is change the direction of our initial sprite. So let's click on the flag here. When the flag is clicked, I want our ball to point. So right now it's pointing 90. If you click here, you can actually drag it and change the direction of your ball. I want it to point in the negative 90 direction. So I want negative 90. There we go. So now our ball will be pointing in the right direction and we will be shooting the balls depending on where the mouse is. Now to make our clones disappear when they touch the edge of the screen. We don't want them hanging around here. So let's go ahead and do that. So to make them hide, what we want to do is we want to go ahead as block, which is delete this clone. So we're going to delete the clone once it gets to this part over here. So now when you shoot the clone, the arrows will disappear. And that's what this delete clone does. All right, so let's summarize this for everybody. So what we did is with the bow, is we asked the bow to go ahead and move with our mouse. So it's moving with our mouse. When our flag is clicked, it's just moving with the mouse. That's all the bow is doing. The arrow is going to be pointed in the negative green because our sprite was pointed the other way so we needed to point this way and then forever I just wanted to follow the mouse and that's for our arrow that's the sprite not not the clones themselves just the sprite so when we press the space bar we want a clone to come out of it so we want the arrow to create a clone of itself and when the clone happens when the clone actually starts we want it to point towards the, go towards the bow and arrow and then point towards the mouse. So it's going to, the bow is going to go where the mouse pointer is. And when it reaches the edge, right, it will disappear by doing this delete clone. So the five in here is saying, is saying basically repeat the movement of the arrow of the clone, make it move five steps at a time until the, it reaches the edge. When it reaches the edge, then it exits this repeat until loop and then it gets deleted. And that's it. That's how you make a shooting game, basically. So to clone, you guys need three blocks. You need make a clone of myself, which basically clones the sprite that you put the code in. So it's gonna be making a copy of that sprite. And then you need, when I start a clone, this specific block allows you to do something to those clones. So you can manipulate the clones based on what you put under that. And then you have delete this clone. Then you delete the clone when you're done with whatever code you were doing in the middle. So when you're done with that code, you want it to delete that clone. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick preview of what we're going to be building with these clone blocks as well as the other concepts that we have learned in our other videos. So let me go ahead and show you guys. And that's going to be a game that we're going to be building on the next video. So don't forget to go ahead and follow us and subscribe to this channel so you guys can go ahead and build it with us. Alright guys, so that was all. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.